Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in with Dan Wesson at NRA. And they have some new firearms worth mentioning, as well as some other ones that I want to mention. First is the Specialist. This is the first time that Dan Wesson has created a factory mount for a red dot. Okay, slide cut from the factory. They have had additional work done after the purchase. This is the first time they are adding it from the factory and there are three different plates that you can add. A red dot, this is the Specialist. It's new at the show. Not many people have seen it before. Chamber 45 ACP, beautiful gun. I've had great experiences with Dan Wesson and this one feels very much like the ones that I've experienced before. This one's a little bit different. This is called the Heirloom. Well, you can see it's basically a collector's item, very much clear coated. It's got the ivory grips, but the idea here is to chamber it in 38, what is it, 38 Super. All right, I just kept thinking of oh, it's going to be a Hispanic's dream come true. But this will be chambered in 38 Super, and you can see it's a, a hefty price. You know, the MSRP is right around 2400 for it, but if you're a collector of 1911s and you love high-end ones that look beautiful uh, and shoot very nice, then you'll certainly nope. dig Dan Wesson. We now, here, this well, here well, is well, the yeah, yeah. Kodiak, chambered in 10 millimeter. I had this at a time. And I'll probably splice in some shooting. Some of the best 10 millimeter shooting I've ever done was with this Kodiak, and I regret so much uh, not having it to this day. Everything comes at a cost, and this one's no different. The MSRP here, right around 2,500, but it's a beautiful gun with a six inch barrel, and you just have to love that single action trigger pull right there. But that short reset is just beautiful. Love the Kodiak. I don't love my decision to no longer own it. And when I did this, a lot of people said, hey, what about the Bruin? Well, here's the Bruin. It has a uh, straight dust cover, no rail on there. It has forward serrations, tritium front dot, two dot rear sights is where the Kodiak has the, the uh, serrated black rear sights. Different type of grip, G10 style, same excellent trigger that Many people who shoot Dan Wessons know about. And there it is right there. Just phenomenal. Very shortly, I'm gonna get the DWX in there. I wanna talk about that. This one here, I've had my eye on well before anybody even knew about it because it was the pre-COVID shot show where I found the Dan Weston DWX and I fell in love with it. It's a cross between a 1911 Dan Weston and a CZ75. Check out that grip. Aluminum grip right there. This one happens to be red with a flat trigger, full pick rail, forward serrations, and that 1911 trigger pull. I have to say this thing is right around three pounds. We're just trying to hit that. as many points as Now the possible. one draw on this, and new I still want it to this day, but I want one optic ready, and I'm told perhaps within a year they will have one optic ready, and at that moment I'll be checking it out with uh, the people at CZ to get my hands on one. Uh, very much appreciated around here. Everybody that comes by seems to grab this and check it out. Been around forever, well, for like four or five years, but set back by COVID, and now they have these available. The MSRP is two grand. Optic ready, I have to believe, be a little bit more, but that's really what I want to get my hands on. So it's a big deal around here, the DWX, five inch barrel, crowned, kind of a bull barrel right there with a nice 1911 feel. So if you love the 75 series, you love the 1911s, you like the idea of having a hybrid, DWX is where it's at. The last one I want to discuss is Dan Wesson V-Bob. And the V-Bob is because of that contour right there, but it is a commander size 1911. What's interesting about this is that Dan Wesson had it in production, then they removed it and they brought it back with additional features. It does come with a tritium front dot there, a serrated top strap on the 1911. These G10 grips are a little wider at the bottom, fulfill the palm quite well. And it's a four and a quarter inch 1911 called the V-Bob MSRP is $1,969. The one thing about the Ann Wesson is 
the, they hand fit, hand polish everything. Nothing's mass produced. Everything comes from bar stock steel, and the V Bob is pretty sweet. Now the trigger, they also changed when they brought it back, and they made it a flat trigger, which seems to be yeah, kind of hit or miss on at this booth anyhow. But I'm guessing right around three, three and a quarter pounds for that. But a beautiful 1911 ambidextrous thumb safety. This is the, the idea here is for it to not print when you're carrying. But nonetheless, this is called the Dan Wesson Speed Bob. And I think I showed you everything I wanted to show you from Dan Wesson. There's a lot more, but there's also a lot of people around here. We're going to wrap it up there. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. And thanks for watching, man. You guys be safe.